inside of this lock contains the secret to becoming a top player in Geometry Dash. But unlocking it is no easy task, because you need to find 5 special keys. The 5 keys to becoming a top player. I lied. It isn't actually that hard because I'll just give you the keys in this video. And I'm giving you the keys because as update 2.2 finally comes out, there will be a surge of new players joining the community, meaning we'll see many new top players emerge, and I want to give you the chance to be one of them. After I give you the keys, you'll be able to unlock your potential and skyrocket your Geometry Dash skills and one day even become a top player. And I know it's possible because I've talked with countless top players, and they all know something that you don't. It's how Doggy verified Slaughterhouse. It's how Zoink verified multiple top ones and became number one on the demon list. It's how Enswish beat the entire main list back in 2020. These insane achievements aren't the result of just mindlessly grinding the game for thousands of hours. These top players have a secret. You can become a top player without being miserable and having no life. You can even become a top player without crazy expensive gear like high refresh rate monitors and the best PCs. You can become a top mobile player if you want to. Anyone can absolutely smash the game of Geometry Dash. But listen. The majority of players trying to improve their skills are making an unmotivating amount of progress, or are getting burnt out quickly. They mindlessly grind levels with no clear strategy or mindset, and the problem with that is they don't actually improve their muscle memory that well, meaning they hardly increase their consistency. Which ultimately means that it'll take a long time to increase their skills and way too long to ever become a top player. So instead, we'll use proven top player strategies to strategically tell you how to improve at any skill level and beat more difficult levels at a much faster rate, which ultimately means you have a better shot at becoming a top player. Player. You see, for the past couple of years, I've been a Geometry Dash YouTuber and streamer, meaning I've gotten to see thousands of comments from the GD community, and the comment I see the most is, how do I get better at Geometry Dash? I also made a YouTube poll trying to find the number one desire for GD players. There were options for being a successful GD YouTuber or getting featured levels, but becoming a top player won by a landslide. And this helped me see that every single Geometry Dash player, despite their skill level, wants to get better at the game. So you should click away now if that doesn't apply to you. I thought to myself, how can I solve this problem? A problem that nearly 100% of my audience wants the solution to. You see, most people aren't even aware that there is a solution. Until I talked with top players, I thought the solution was simply to play more, which isn't very motivating. There's been a few YouTube videos on how to improve your skills in Geometry Dash, and they're not bad, but I personally haven't found any of them very helpful. Mpesta made a good one, and he's a great player, don't get me wrong, but imagine if Zoink or Doggy or Cursed released a guide on how to become a top player. That would be amazing. Everyone would want to see it. Now imagine if you could get 20 top players to organize all of their knowledge into a step-by-step -step guide for anyone to increase their skills in Geometry Dash. That would be better than amazing. So I thought to myself, since I have a large GD YouTube channel, I have the opportunity to talk with almost anyone in the GD community. And so... I did. I got in contact with every top player I could find, including Zoink, Doggy, Cursed, Enswish, Trick, Diamond, Denny, Zanny, and about 15 more top players. And I asked them about 18 questions each about their strategies, mindsets, and how they would become a top player if they had to start over. I did this through a form I had them all fill out, and I've taken many hours to organize all of their advice into a guide that any player can use to improve in Geometry Dash, and one day even become a top player. And yes, I told them why I was doing it, and they all said it was okay. So without further ado, here are the five keys. Key number one is to open your mind. I remember when I started playing Geometry Dash over eight years ago, and even a few years in, I had no idea what I was doing. I would look at the hardest main levels like Club Step and Theory of Everything 2, and I couldn't see myself ever beating them. I simply didn't believe in myself. I thought there was no way that I could ever beat those levels, especially since I played on mobile. So obviously becoming a top player was out of the question. Right? Well, the first step to becoming a top player is actually believing that it's possible. I never intended on becoming a top player, and I never became one. To become something, you have to intend on being it. No successful person became successful by accident. You may think you have technical situations limiting your capability, but that's not completely true. It's true that you can't beat today's hardest levels without at least 144 Hz, if not 240 or 360 Hz. It's true that PC is easier than mobile. It's true that some players tend to have natural skill and some players don't, but you can always be the best at your current situation. You can be a top mobile player or a top 60 hertz player. The problem isn't what you physically have, it's your expectation versus reality. Stop mentally competing with people you shouldn't be competing with. Imagine the version of yourself who always tries his best. Every day he wakes up and works hard. Compare yourself to him or her or them. He has all of the same tools as you, but is out competing you. 
how? He believes in himself. He tries his best. He doesn't compare himself to 360 FPS players with $4,000 PCs. And he hits the subscribe button right now. You can always be the best player you can be and become the best version of yourself. And in my opinion, that is a top player. So you have to believe in yourself, but you also need to at least know the basics of practicing and learning levels. I'm not gonna give you any fluff in this guide, but I have to quickly go over the basics because even some experienced players play like noobs. Key number two is to master the basics. You probably know what practice mode is, but a lot of you use it horribly. So here's my first tip for practice mode. Turn off auto checkpoints. They will always screw you over. They suck, don't be lazy, just learn how to manually place checkpoints. Please. For beginners, a simple way to learn levels using practice mode is to go through the whole level in practice mode, then once you're at the end, pause the game and restart from the last checkpoint, playing it to about 99%, then start deleting checkpoints further and further back, learning every section of the level while trying to get your best runs to 99%, a decent amount of times before playing from zero. Cursed is a top player who beat VSC, Slaughterhouse, and Abyss of Darkness, and he told me that a mistake many players make is actually using practice mode instead of start positions, since it makes a big difference in efficiency. Since you'll be beating harder levels soon, you'll want to use start positions and copyable versions of the level to get down each part, and you'll have to choose how much you advance in difficulty. So for that you have three options. Gradual climb, reasonable jumps, and extreme jumps. A gradual difficulty climb will lead to a very well-rounded skill set, and you'll easily beat any levels at your difficulty range. But you don't end up challenging your mind as much. Some players like more of a challenge, so they choose an extreme jump in difficulty, which usually leads to burnout, but sometimes it will lead to an incredible achievement, which feels amazing. And it will also lead to a strengthened mind, which will increase your ability to dedicate yourself to a level, or anything in real life. The downside of an extreme jump is just a skewed skill set, so you won't be able to beat other levels in that same difficulty after pulling off the huge jump. Each have their own pros and cons, you just have to figure out what your goals are and which style of difficulty progression works the best for you. And now that you know key number two, we'll move to key number three, which is to master your mind. This is the hardest but most crucial key for your success within Geometry Dash, so listen closely. This can easily be overlooked by most players, but every top player uses this to their advantage. Belief will increase your potential, which increases your action, which will increase your results, which will then increase your belief again, and the cycle continues. This isn't just a bunch of words put together to sound smart, it's actually real. If you believe you can beat harder levels, you'll be more dedicated and confident while playing harder levels and will therefore beat more of those hard levels, which increases your belief in yourself that you you can beat those levels, which puts you onto a cycle of rapid skill improvement. It's easy to ignore the mental aspect of this game, but top players mostly agree that it's actually the most important aspect of the game, and it's commonly overlooked. Do you want to be one of the 99% of players who don't focus on this, or do you want to join the top 1% of players who do? This is the difference between just any GD player, and what I like to call a geometry smasher. The mistake a lot of players make is doubting themselves, because that suppresses their potential, decreasing their action and results. I didn't go for Rob Top's demons for a long time, until I had beaten most of the other main levels. By that point, I had beaten many levels close to that demon difficulty, which increased my confidence and belief in myself, which increased my capability to beat those demons, and I did. I obviously increased my physical skill too in that time, but the mental aspect again should not be overlooked. Even though it took over 4,000 attempts on mobile, I eventually beat Deadlock. Belief is powerful, but you can't just believe in anything. You don't want to believe in something that's impossible, because that's stupid. Instead, understand your actual limitations versus your mental limitations. And if you don't know if something is achievable, you can still make it a goal without putting importance on the outcome. A lot of players shy away from making big goals because they're afraid to fail or get their hopes up and feel disappointed. That's a problem because making clear goals literally increases your chance of achieving what you want. You need a destination to be able to get somewhere, but you'll slow yourself down if you give up at any slight failure. Nobody succeeds without failing, so pick some crazy goals but don't get attached to the outcome. Decreasing the mental importance you put on the outcome of your goal will decrease your nervousness, making the goal easier to achieve. And the best way to decrease your nervousness in Geometry Dash is by using key number four, which is actually simply to focus on having fun. If you make having fun your focus, then you're more likely to play in flow state and you'll be able to focus, allowing you to beat harder levels. This is the most crucial thing for your GD success, so how can you have more fun? Well, you can't literally force yourself to have fun, but you can control your environment. So the simple answer to this is to play socially. If you watch almost any top extreme demon verification, the verifier is usually on a voice chat with friends on Discord. Talking with friends makes learning levels, practicing levels, and beating levels much more fun, which helps you relax and play in flow state. The most successful 
successful sports players are part of a team. The most successful entrepreneurs have business meetings and many friends who do business too. The most successful YouTubers are in communities where they strategize and hang out with other YouTubers. The top players of Geometry Dash are friends with each other and talk while playing. It's no different. You need friends who play the game and you need a community of motivated players, which is why I've created something that you can be a part of, but we'll talk about that later. Key number five is to master the art of practice. I remember dying to the same part of Hexagon Force almost every attempt. I didn't know how to do a lot of the first cube duel and the ball duel, so I just practiced all of the other parts and, like a dumbass, I left it up to luck. I got frustrated when I got to the choke points in practice mode, so I would just avoid them. This is how noobs play. They avoid the hard part. How Geometry Smashers play is different. Geometry Smashers will attack their weaknesses. They will grind and even over-practice the hardest part of a level, because then that part is no longer a choke point, and they can pass it with ease. Doing this doesn't only increase your skill and capability to pass the hard parts, but also increases your confidence and decreases your nervousness about the part, which makes it much easier to pass. Another tactic to use which will increase your skill and help you practice is to use a method called progressive overload. This is commonly known in the gym community, but it's basically constantly pushing yourself. You don't lift 20 pound dumbbells forever for the same reason that you don't play easy demons forever. If you want to improve or get stronger, you need to raise the difficulty. Beating harder and harder levels at a pace that feels good to you is crucial to improving your skill within the game. For example, short challenges can be a fun way to increase your skills. I've always had more fun playing challenges rather than longer levels. So I only have about 90 demons completed, but I beat Bloodbath as my first extreme yes. demon, which isn't very normal. So I have a weird skewed skill set, but I've mostly just grinded hard challenges. If you want a well-rounded skill set, which will give you the best shot at becoming a top player, then you need to diversify what you play. You need to play short challenges and extra long levels, and you need to master every single game mode. A bonus tip I have for you is to use hacks. Not to become a hacker, but to make playing easier and more fun. You can get Mega Hack for PC or Android, and you can get iCreate Pro for iOS. You can use the mods in these applications to play better by increasing your FPS, turning on hitboxes to get to know levels better, turning on no clip to practice or learn the click patterns of a level. You can speed hack levels, bot levels, and there's a lot more. Of course, these aren't required, but they're definitely recommended to anyone who wants to beat the hardest levels that they can. So the links will be in the description. To sum everything up, the most important thing to remember is to have fun, which is cliche, but it works. Playing socially and not playing in a bad mental state will help you have more fun while playing, which will make you play in flow state more often. The next most important thing is to believe in yourself. Don't overlook the power of belief and confidence when it comes to your capability to beat hard levels or even become a top player. But remember that you can't be overconfident and believe in stupid goals like jumping from Stereo Madness to Slaughterhouse because that probably won't happen. And find out what style of difficulty progression works the best for you so you can start progressing in skill down the path to become a top player. So you have the five keys to becoming a top player, but now you have to know how to use them. You might be wondering, how do I actually believe in myself? What levels should I play? How much should I play? How do I start? How do I avoid burnout? How long will it take me to reach my goals? How do I find friends to play with? And how do I find a community of players? Which is why I created this video. In my own experience, Geometry Dash has helped me understand the art of practice. It's helped me learn instruments and even the game of being a YouTuber. I genuinely think that practicing Geometry Dash can help you improve your real life. So I wanna help more players improve their skill and have more fun playing Geometry Dash and even become a top player one day. Which is why I'm launching Geometry Smash. Geometry Smash is an exclusive community of players who are motivated to improve at the game. Becoming a top player takes hard work and a strong mindset. There isn't a cheat code to become one of the best. But inside of Geometry Smash, we teach you what you need to know to improve at a faster rate than anyone else. The key to unlocking your capability of becoming a top player is through the Pro Code, a step-by-step -step course developed by myself with the advice of many top players which is only available inside of Geometry Smash. If you want to know everything it takes to become a top player and the roadmap to become one, then Geometry Smash is for you. Our 14-day program, the Pro Code, follows three main steps, which we've briefly covered today. Basic Mastery, Mental Mastery, and Practice Mastery. These steps destroy your mental limitations, help you build a new mindset, and give you the knowledge you need to practice levels effectively. And above all, you get an ambitious and friendly community of Geometry Dash players. You can use this community to connect with other motivated players like yourself, so you get to make friends and have fun playing socially in voice chats. Now, Geometry Smash is not free. This isn't like a Discord server with brain dead meme chats. This is a place for players that are serious about leveling up. And since I've put so much time and energy into this community and I'm so confident that it's the perfect place for GD players to improve at the game, I'm offering you a complete refund if you go through the course and community and don't feel like you belong there. Meaning that this is a pay on results basis, which makes this a complete
complete risk reversal. If you're not happy, then I'm not happy. So as an apology, I'll give you your full investment back at any time. To join Geometry Smash and get instant access to everything I've talked about today, including a complete refund at any time, it's 10 bucks. It's just a $10 investment for your monthly membership, which you can cancel or get refunded for at any time. But I'm not done. On top of the cheap and risk-free membership to Geometry Smash, as a free bonus, you also get our Game Mode Mastery course. This is a series of custom training levels for you to play after going through the three steps of the Pro Code. These levels are strategically built and tested by top players and creators, with the goal of helping you increase your skill at all eight game modes, even the new 2.2 Swing Copter. There are various different levels with each game mode of different game play and difficulty levels, which you can play to skyrocket your skills in all game modes, which is crucial to help you on your journey to become a top player. We'll give you exclusive access to these levels immediately upon joining. And the last bonus you get is direct contact with me, which usually goes for $300 per hour on its own. I've helped other YouTubers get tens of millions of views with my advice. I'm even making a YouTube course for this community in the future, but for now you can ask for advice in our messages. But this is limited to the newest members since soon it'll be too large for me to talk with everyone. And that actually wasn't the last bonus. You also get another bonus course called Gaming Skills IRL. I've spent weeks and thousands of dollars on these videos and they just come as a free bonus for you upon joining. And I'm still not done. You also get VIP access to our Discord server where you can talk with other VIP members at any time and you get to join our weekly VIP community calls with myself. These are super fun. We basically just all hang out and play Geometry Dash while talking about random stuff. My goal with this community is to bring players together to connect and help more players become top players. I really think this place is amazing and I want this to be a no brainer decision for you, so I've made it this easy. You can join for just 10 bucks and go through all of our courses, check out the VIP section of our Discord server, look through the entire Geometry Smash community, and then simply ask for a refund and you'll get your full $10 back with no hassle. So what does joining right now look like? You just click the first link in my description, click this yellow join button, enter in your information, and then boom, you're in. The community is hosted on this platform called School. You can use it on any mobile device or computer. It's super simple and you'll learn to navigate it very quickly. First, you'll read this pinned post and then go to the welcome section in the classroom. You watch the welcome videos and make an introduction post to our community so we can get to know you and your goals. There's leaderboards for our top members. There's a calendar showing our community events and you can DM anyone inside of the community including myself by clicking on their profile and clicking chat. You can find the pro code and any other courses inside of the classroom section. You can go to the VIP section of our discord server and join our weekly community calls or just hop on the casual VC and play with other VIP members. And after you go through the 14 day course and all of our bonus courses, if you simply don't feel like it was worth 10 bucks, you can just DM me for a refund or just cancel your membership if you don't want to pay for another month. If you're still not sure if this community is for you, this is not for players who don't want to dedicate time and energy to the game. It's not for players who want some kind of cheat code or easy route to becoming a top player. This is for players who struggle with burnout and demotivation and want to start beating harder levels faster. This is for players who want to learn from those who did it before them and watch other players improve around them. And this is really for players who are ambitious and motivated and have a drive to improve at the game. Geometry Smash is a community of like-minded players all striving towards the same goal, to get better at Geometry Dash. If you can imagine being part of something like that, then it's clear that this is for you. You can click the link in the description below to join our community if you want access right now. And that leaves you with a choice. So what does your life look like if you decide to join? Well, the worst case scenario looks like you spending 10 bucks today, getting to go through all of our courses, getting to look through our entire community, and then deciding that it isn't for you. Messaging me and getting all of your money back within 24 hours. At worst, you could call that a waste of time, I guess. The best case scenario looks similar, except that you decide to stay because you love it. You love the course and the community. You love talking with other ambitious players in our Discord server. You have fun during our community calls and you're excited about the future of the community. Now, what does your life look like if you don't join it looks the same. So why not switch it up, have some fun, there's really no risk. The only risk actually is that you don't join today, since I know there will be a large demand for our community and a rush of new members, which means I'm going to increase the price to 15 bucks soon. And I know I'll increase it to 20 or 25 once I release the YouTube protocol, an upcoming course for becoming a GD YouTuber. My vision for this community is to make it the all-in-one best community for GD players. We'll teach how to become a better player, creator, and a YouTuber, since those are the things making this community thrive. So make sure to join right now if you want to lock in your spot at the cheapest membership because the price will only increase for new members meaning if you join now and I raise the price later you won't ever have to pay extra if you're not interested then no worries I completely understand I hope you still got value from this video and you can join our free geometry smash discord server the link will be in the description but if you are interested then I'm excited to see you become an official geometry smasher today and get to meet you inside of our community and maybe talk to you on our next community call all right you can click the link in the description right now to start your journey I'll see you soon